So I started to realize, but the interesting thing, just don't take it from me. This is what the steps are all about. But I brought here to bring it right to the food. This is from Overeaters Anonymous. This is a new edition of the 12 Steps and 12 Traditions. And they sort of changed the introduction, and it's really interesting what they did. And let me read just a few sentences. I don't do much reading, but we're going to get really right into it. Just listen to this, though. Listen to this. We of Overeaters Anonymous have found in this fellowship a way to recover from the disease of compulsive eating. We use compulsive overeating and compulsive eating interchangeably. These terms include, but not limited to. So here they want to include everybody because it's really a compulsion towards the food, whether you're restricting or you're overeating, whatever you're doing, it's the same thing. Uh, so they call it overeating, undereating, food addiction, anorexia, bulimia, binge eating, overexercising, purging, and other compulsive behaviors. And it goes on to say, after repeated failures to control our eating. Listen to this. This is the most important thing here. And I, you always hear me say, but don't take my word for it when I say diets don't work, that 95% of them fail. Here, and it's interesting. You know what's interesting about it is, here is like the, the, the basic literature here. The same we have, the, you know, and also the 12 steps. The answers are in there. But for some reason, when I went to meetings and I hear other people at meetings, we complicate it and we get away from the simple program. And it explains it here. Of re after, we want to control it. We want to figure it out. We want our diet program. We want to, all kinds of things. We spend hundreds of thousands of dollars for these corporations to tell us and send us all kinds of crazy food and stuff. But it well, always fails. We take potions. We take pills. We take lotions. Whatever we do. But listen to this. Our solution is a program of recovery, a program of the 12 steps. By following these steps, thousands of OA members have stopped eating compulsively. It says in the doctor's opinion, and we agnostics, and throughout the book, it says there's only one solution, a spiritual solution. Again, going back to them, they couldn't figure out how to cure alcoholics. I'm sure they couldn't figure out then how to cure com people with food compulsions like we have. Okay, because... A hundred years later almost now, we still, the scientists, even though we went to the moon and did all these great scientific discoveries, they still don't have the answer. Everything seems to fail, whether it's the stomach surgery or whether it's all kinds of pills we take or whatever it is and all scientific discoveries. You know, it's a spiritual solution. In OA, we have no program of diets, exercise, no scales, and no magic pills. The basic thing here, when we come in here, it's all about, I say my diet plan of these 12 steps. It's very hard. You know what? It's interesting. Again, I just want to re-emphasize re that this is for all addictions. By the way, I always get, because it seems like a lot of people here are interested in the, you know, you know, talking about the food and the overeating or undereating, whatever we do, the compulsion towards the food. But I, I related, you know, all we can talk about alcohol, drugs, or even our relationship to people. It's about solving all our problems, as it says here in the big book, all our problems. So, Here's my diet program. There's 12 points or 12 steps. How's that related to the food? That's the big thing that just people have. It took me a long time to figure it out. But it goes on to say here, uh, our way of life based on the 12 steps and 12 traditions has brought us physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. We don't hesitate to call miraculous. So beyond all this understanding, that's miraculous. It's something that's a miracle. Because what do we do? We take self-will back. We figure the only way to figure it out is by self-will. I'm going to figure out my answer to all my problems. I'm going to figure out this answer to the full compulsions and addictions. I got a better way of doing it. And we know it doesn't work. 95% of diets fail. And here in the introduction to this whole program of over, called Overeaters Anonymous, what do they tell us? They tell us that these things don't work and that they don't even talk about that in the meetings. What we talk about in the meetings is what? We're powerless, step one. Step two, we had to be restored to sanity because our thinking was insane. And until we change the thinking, you know, when the thinking's change is spiritual, when we become more spiritual, we become straightened out mentally and physically. It says that right in the big book, right? In the big book, it says all of this stuff, the first 164 pages. So the thing is to figure out how is this directly related to the food. Again, beyond all understanding. When we realize that this whole life and everything about it, this self, it's the ego wants all of these pleasures. It thinks of the, the uh, bodily pleasures, worldly delights, you know. And there's a saying in the Bible, forsake the sorry world. Think about it. When we have these emotions and thinking towards the food, they're just chemicals in our brains that go stirring around. We have a better way. We spiritual bread, things of God's universe. 
But what we're doing is we're taking our addiction. Again, I'll talk about alcohol, drugs, food, whatever it is, addicted to people, right? Money, success, all the same thing. Again, it says the answer to all our problems. So the whole thing is this, to have that perception change. Without that, it doesn't work. But it's interesting when we try, when what's called in the problem. In other words, I used to go to meetings, uh, could be for food, food, you know, Overeaters Anonymous. And for some reason, I started to realize my addiction got worse because I was in the problem. I was going there trying to figure out how to fight it. Well, if I just have this, if I resist this and I, and I do this and I have three meals a day, or if I weigh or measure. Look, I don't want to say there's not any value to some of that. 